there's been only one other issue apart from Bishop this week. It is Adam Goods. Even politicians are now buying into it. Have a listen. People who are booing Adam Goods, many of them are nothing more than racists. You don't have to agree with everything that Adam says. No. Uh, you don't have to, I suppose, like his footy team. But mm. nevertheless, uh, I think there should be a basic respect given to all sports people. And, and certainly the last thing we want in Australia is, is anything, anything at all that smacks of, of racism. John, this is a political issue that no one is talking about, the, the aspect of it, and it is this. What does this incident say about the reconciliation movement that both sides of politics have signed up to? Andrew, I think it shows Australia's gone backwards in the last 20 years. Rather than race becoming less important, it's become more important. This is more than now just about a footballer. This is about politicians and the media displaying their moral superiority. It's about them thinking that many Australians are racist. And moving forward, I think you're exactly right, it is going to put uh, changes to the Constitution in peril because, by and large, Australians do not want any Australian to be judged according to their skin colour. And we are talking about now dividing white Australians and black Australians rather than saying we are all Australians. I think this is a bit of a tipping point and hopefully the beginning of a really important discussion about these things. This is not just now about Adam Goods. Nikki, one of the things that's worried me from the start of this so-called reconciliation movement is that the excesses of the people pushing it will prompt an, an ugly reaction as well. I'm not saying, therefore, you should give in. I'm just saying, you know, the, the, the damning, the finger-pointing, the use of the law to silence people, all that kind of stuff, there will be a reaction. Does the Adam Goods uh, incident suggest that? Uh, I, I think there are signs uh, from that that point to, you know, a, a very damaging um, debate that's going to um, take place. But firstly, just on the Adam Goods thing itself, I don't believe that Adam Goods has done or said anything, really, that warrants that kind of um, reaction from people. The booing, I'm, the, booing uh, the name calling, um, I think it's, it's disgraceful and I don't think the mob should be empowered to drive someone out of doing something that they love, whether it's playing football, whether it's writing about politics, whether it's talking about politics, whatever. I think that is just um, disgraceful. I'm not saying all the people who are doing it are, are racist, but I think there are racist elements there um, who are whipping it up and feeding it, and I think that is a very dangerous kind of development, and we will probably see uh, more of it. And I think the answer is um, but for wait, people... Wait, can, I, can I say something there? Um, I agree. The booing is bullying. It's disgraceful. This should not be a factor in the whole discussion. And I think we're agreed on that. Uh, we're agreed that racism is bad. What I don't agree with is characterising how it started, therefore, as purely racist concerns, to just dismiss it all as racism. I think that, that, that overlooks, uh, smears, it stifles a debate on what really started this, which is a reaction against treating even a 13-year-old girl as a sacrifice to this racial politics. Well, uh, but the way that that girl was treated was not necessarily Good's fault. I mean, he heard a remark, he turned round and he pointed it he out. He, he thought she and, was 14, but that doesn't and, excuse it. But, but Nikki, what sort of Australia do we live in where we can't have a sense of proportion? A 13-year-old girl yelled out an offensive word. It was a word. No one's defending the word. She was taken away and interrogated for two hours but that by wasn't the police. Good. That wasn't his fault. That no, wasn't but that's the Australia fault. we live in now. But that wasn't that's his fault. That's what upsets and concerns um, people. OK, and they have a right to be upset about that. But Goods and the girl reached, you know, an after accommodation... After he had said she's the face after. of racism. That's right. Yes, Mickey, but Mickey, then I'm he sorry. pulled back and she apologised and that thing was resolved. Damage there done. is no, no need them. for it to be blown up in the way... That it has. I mean, I think. But he the was whole then made thing... Australian of the Year. Yeah, no, look, look, well, guys, I'm sorry, we're out of time. Maybe I should have got to that earlier. But um, uh, she was 13. 
right? And yes. even child, child murderers that have their identity splashed all over national TV. She did it on it's, TV oh, at a football game yeah, in yeah, front yeah. of people. No, that's, she was 13. That's what happened. Nikki Saver and John Roskam, thank you so much for your time. Coming up, News Watch, how the ABC rigs those debates where no one disagrees.